Thank you, Rebecca. Several Bay Area nonprofits are looking for help tonight. They say they were hurt financially after Governor Ron DeSantis vetoed $32 million in the state budget that was earmarked for arts and culture. News Channel East Ty Russell joining us from the Strass Center tonight to tell us more about that. Ty. Yeah, Keith, some people may not realize this, but the Strass Center is a nonprofit and it too has been impacted by this loss in grant funding. And when I spoke to the CEO and president earlier today, he told me he's actually worried about smaller nonprofits. It's a busy summer camp season at the Strass Center. The popular Tampa performing arts nonprofit has a $50 million budget. Now 150,000 of that last year came from a state grant meant for programming. Greg Holland is the president and CEO. We're grateful for the support we've gotten uh, to date. But that grant is no longer an option, at least for this current fiscal year that started July 1st. The same applies to other arts and culture groups statewide. Our concern is many of those organizations also received state arts funding and it would be a loss to the region and to the community if any of the, those organizations had to con curtail their programs. Governor Ron DeSantis vetoed roughly $32 million in grant money. It was meant for general support programming for things like summer camps. And last month, the governor was asked about it while in Polk County. So you have your tax dollars being given in grants to things like the Fringe Festival which is like a sexual festival where they're doing all this stuff. And it's like, how many of you think your tax dollars should go to fund that? Not very many people would do that. The Tampa version of the festival denies giving tax money to artists for projects, but the governor wants lawmakers to change the allocation process, which was only handled through a peer review group. Now, it's unclear if this type of grant funding will return next fiscal year because the budget is typically not approved until May or June. However, we do know that I checked the state's website and the application process will be open in April. So nonprofits will be able to apply for this likely grant funding if it comes back. Keith. Well, Ty, as you pointed out, the grant money that was vetoed was meant for programs and events, but there is grant money out there and it's still available for some other areas. Explain. Yeah, Governor Ron DeSantis did approve roughly $30 million or so for arts and culture grants. However, that money is only meant for capital projects like renovations or expansions. Keith? All right, Ty Russell reporting live for us in Tampa. Thank you.